Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my new video. So as promised, here's the second part of the SmartQ setwatch video. I have now updated the software to the latest version and now we'll take a look at the functions of the watch. So as always, the link to the seller is in the description and if you want to buy it, don't forget to message the seller and link to this video and then you will get a little discount on the watch. And now let's start the review. Okay guys, so this is the updated software and if you have seen the previous video, then you will may notice that the default clock face looks completely different. So in the middle we have the current time, under the time we have the current date, at the left top corner you can see the weather and at the right top corner you can see the battery status. And I have to say battery lifetime on this watch is amazing so you can easily get to one or two days without charging. Then here you can switch the clock faces and also here on the top we have a status bar which also shows you the current time, alarms and if Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is enabled. And I have to say in this software version there are many clock faces. So we have analog clock faces, we have digital clock faces and all of them look really awesome and I think there's a clock face for every like. And I like the digital ones because they can also see the battery lifetime as you can see right over here. And yeah, so basically that were all the clock faces. And now we can swipe to the left and then we can enter the menu. And here in the new software version, the buttons look a little bit like in iOS because this watch is also iOS compatible and maybe it's because of that. We have here alarms, calendar, call logs and contacts. Here at the next side, we have a file manager. We have a fitness app, a music player and notifications. Then here we have a sound recorder. We have settings, we have sleep analyzers and SMS. And at the last page we have timer and weather. But before we take a look at those apps, let us swipe to the other side where we have some widgets. So if you swipe it to the right, then you can see some hotkeys. So here you can toggle on or off Bluetooth. Also we have a hotkey for the display brightness. So here you can set the levels of the display brightness. Then here at the right bottom corner we have vibrate, so you can toggle it on or off. And this one is to enter the settings of the watch. Then here we have a widget for sports, so this is a widget for the pedometer. Then here we have some really cool things. So this is a remote control for the music player on your smartphone. So you can remote control it here. Then let's swipe to the left. Here we can see the battery status currently 94%. Here we can see the calendar and all the upcoming events. Then here we have a QR code for the app you have to download to your smartphone in order to use the watch. And last but not least we have um, a widget which should be settings. And here you can also add new widgets, but currently um, that were all widgets which are in the software version. Then now let's swipe to the hotkey for the settings and let's take a look at the settings of the watch. So there we go. Okay, so let's start here with Wi-Fi, which is the first one. And let's see if it can find my home network. So there we go. Oh, okay, Wi-Fi is already enabled and it's connected to my home network. Also the signal quality is quite good. I haven't expected such a good signal quality on just a watch. And to go back to the settings, you have to press the button here. So this is sometimes a little bit annoying because you can slide back and you have to use the button. Then further we have Bluetooth and you use Bluetooth to connect the watch to the smartphone. So you have to have Bluetooth enabled, otherwise you can't connect to your smartphone. Then let's go back. Further we have date and time, so you can set it automatically or manually. We also have reminders, so the watch does not have a speaker. So there is no sound for the reminders, but vibration works really well. Also here we can enable Bluetooth disconnect tips. Then let's go back here. Further we have display settings. So here you can set automatic backlight and we also have some different wallpapers. So here you can choose between three wallpapers and there are also some ROMs which have more wallpapers and more designs. Then further we have sleep and time, so here you can set the display timeout. Then here we have language, so we have um, not that many languages, but we have English, Spanish, um, French and also Chinese. But I think there are some custom ROMs which offer more languages, but as I said this is just a stock ROM and it only has those languages. Then here we have location, and location is only determined by Wi-Fi, so there's no GPS chip included. Then last but not least we have about the watch. So here we have firmware upgrade, you can do an over the update or you can copy it from your computer. Model number set one, we have a total space of two gigabytes. So the ROM only takes about 100 megabytes. Here we can see the build number. As you can see, it is based on the latest Android version, which is 4.4. And last but not least, we have factory data reset here. Okay, so basically that were all the settings. And now let us take a look at the apps of the watch. Therefore we swipe here to the left. 
And now the first app we'll take a look at is alarms. So you can also use this watch as an alarm clock and you can add as many alarms as you want to. Just go to plus and then you can set the time. Okay, then here we have a calendar, so you can also sync it with your smartphone. And this is really awesome because um, if you have upcoming events, you can also get a reminder here on the smartwatch and see it in the widget. Then here we have call logs, currently empty because it's not bound to my smartphone. Then here we have contacts, same goes here for the contacts, so I currently have none on the smartwatch. Then here we have a file manager. And this is pretty awesome because you can access all the files which you have on your watch. So for instance, if you want to copy pictures to the watch, then you can do that over the computer and you can view them here on the smartwatch. And further, we have a fitness app. So basically this is a pedometer app and here you can switch between centimeters and inch. Then the next app we have is a music player and this is a full music player, not only remote control. And therefore you have to have music on your smartwatch and you can copy it from the computer using the USB cable to the flash of your smartwatch. Then let's go back and further we have notifications and you can sync the notifications of your smartphone with the watch. I'm currently not synced because I've not connected it to my smartphone. Also here we have a sound recorder so you can record sound files on the smartwatch and if you attach a headset you can also play them. Then further we have settings where we were before then we have sleep analyzers and this is really funny because um, this analyzes your sleep and here you can see the total sleep time, sober sleep time, light sleep time and deep sleep time. So a really funny thing. Further we have SMS and all SMS are synced with your smartphone over Bluetooth. This can take some time but it is really awesome. We also have a timer and a weather app. And this timer app is really useful, so if you're doing sports, for instance, running. And also the whole watch is um, basically made for outdoor fans because it is also waterproof. Then last but not least, we have a weather app. So this works over Wi-Fi, so you have to be in a Wi-Fi network. And then you get the latest weather um, information. Also here you can select your city, so currently it is set to Beijing, but you can choose any city you want to. Okay, so basically that were all the apps and now I will try to sync it with my smartphone so therefore we have to connect it over Bluetooth and we will do this here right now. Okay, so before you can use the watch you have to download a app on Android or iOS and the link to the app is also in the description so if you want to try it out even without the watch you can download the app, the link is in the description. And now we have to open up the app and enable Bluetooth on the watch. So on the watch Bluetooth is enabled and now we can go to the smartphone and open up the SetWatch Sync app. And now to connect the SetWatch to the smartphone all you have to do is just press search SetWatch. So now it is searching and as you can see found SetWatch and this number here. Okay so now just um, wait a few seconds so this can take some time until it detects the SetWatch. Okay, so now found and now you can press bond and now you will get a Bluetooth pair key and you have to um, accept this um, pair key on both devices. So here, okay, and there, okay. And now the set watch is connected to your smartphone. So it is that easy and the same goes for iOS. There's also an iOS app in the app store. Then here we have some set watch sync settings. So here you can choose what you want to sync. Therefore we go to sync settings on the top. And here you can choose if you want to sync SMS, contacts, call log, calendar, weather, time and also battery stats. But um, I don't want to sync the battery stats so I'll just leave it. Then here we have quick SMS so you can um, send quick SMS from your smartwatch. We have display preview window, we have timeout notifications. And here you also have some settings for the notification service like if you want to get push notifications and all that stuff. Okay, so now the watch is synced with my smartphone and now let's try to call my smartphone and then you should also see the call on the watch and you can accept or deny. So just give me a second and I will call my phone with my other phone. Um, there we go. So here comes the call and as you can see, you see the call on the smartwatch and on the phone and you can choose if you want to accept on the smartwatch or deny it and you can also do this on the phone. And now let's try to accept the call. And as you can see this works, so the call is now active on the phone and you can also do several other stuff on the smartwatch so you don't have a call window on the smartwatch. And now let's end the call and then let's try this here once again. Mm. 
Okay, so here comes the second call and now let's try to deny it. So um, there's a little delay now on the watch, but it's quite okay. So if you want to deny it, just press the red button and as you can see, the call is denied. Okay, so that were the calls and now let's try to write an SMS. So just give me a second, I will write an SMS from my other phone. Okay, so here comes the SMS, as you can see it arrived. And you don't have to open it up, so it opens up automatically and then you can also read it right over here. Okay, so now you have two buttons. You have the blue one, which is go back, and you have the green one to answer on the SMS. Unfortunately, you can't type a real SMS, but what you can do if you press at the green button is, you can send a quick SMS. And also with a custom ROM, it is possible to write full SMS with a keyboard. Okay, so now it is adding all the messages, and now after it is done, you have all the messages which you have on your smartphone on the smartwatch. And here you can read them, and as I said, you can answer with quick SMS. So, pretty cool feature. Okay, then let's go back to the main apps and let's also check out the other apps and let's see um, what is in the call log, what is in contacts and so on. So now the watch should be synced with my smartphone and now we can take a look at contacts and let's see if it has worked. So there we go. Okay, so here are now the contacts which are also on my smartphone. And this is really amazing because here you can um, check out the numbers or you can also directly call the people here from contacts. Then further we have call logs, so you should have the same call logs on the watch like on your smartphone. Unfortunately um, it is empty, I don't know why, maybe it hasn't synced yet. Then further we have the calendar, so here you can see all upcoming events and they are synced via Bluetooth with your smartphone, so this is really awesome. Okay, then further we have a SMS app, as you have seen before, there you can check out all the SMS which you have on your smartphone. And now here comes my favorite feature, which is the remote control of the Android music player. If you press play on the smartwatch, it starts to play the music on your smartphone. So this is really amazing, you don't have to take out the smartphone off your pocket. And you can just press the play button to start or the stop button to stop. Also further, you can um, switch here between the music titles and you can also adjust the volume here at the top. So this is really amazing and maybe the most useful feature of the smartwatch. Now let me show you another music feature. For instance, if you're doing sports, if you go running and you don't want to take the smartphone with you but you want to listen to music, then you can also do this here with your smartwatch. You have a full music player here on your smartwatch and as I said, the watch doesn't have a speaker but you can connect headphones. And here you can choose artists, albums, songs and playlists but you only have two gigabytes of space but I think this is quite enough to make a cool playlist for sports. And now if you swipe here from left to right, then you also get here some additional settings. So here you have playlist, sequence, repeat, and you can also adjust the volume. And also the maximum volume of the smartwatch is quite okay. And now here comes the test all of you want to see. As I said, this watch is waterproof. And now we will test if it is really waterproof. As the watch did not come with a cap for the 3.5mm headphone jack, I really want to see if it is really waterproof. So now let's put it here into this can of water. Then now I'll take my other phone and then call my phone which is synced with the smartwatch and then we will see if it is really waterproof. As you can see water is also in the 3.5mm headphone jack and the watch is still alive. Okay so now I'll be doing the call, just give me a second. And here comes the call. As you can see it is vibrating and it receives the call. So really awesome, it still works underwater. And now I'll get the watch out of the water and then I will try to accept the call and let's see if the touchscreen is still working. I hope so. And here comes the watch. Okay, then now, okay, I was too late so um, let's call it here once again. Just give me a second. And here is the second call. So the watch is still alive and now let's try to accept the call. And as you can see, it is still working really awesome and this is amazing that the watch is that waterproof even without a cap on the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and by the way those rubber wristbands are also replaceable so if you don't like the black color i think they're also available in 20 other colors so blue pink everything you want to and for the ios users the watch is also compatible with your iphone therefore you just have to go to the app store 
download the Setwatch app and then you can sync it with your iPhone. So it is really that easy and even if you don't own the Setwatch yet, you can go to the App Store and download the Setwatch app and see if it is compatible with your iPhone. Okay, and last but not least, people actually want to see how the watch looks like on the wrist. So it's still a little bit wet from the water test, but as you can see, it looks awesome. I mean, I may wouldn't wear it if I have a business meeting, but for outdoor sports, it's just a perfect watch. Okay, so we're now at the end of this review, and now I want to show you the shop where you can get this watch. Okay, so this is the shop where I bought the watch, and this is on dhgate.com, sold by eFit, so the store is called eFit, and here you can buy the watch. It's available in different colors, blue, red and black. We have free shipping and also the price is okay because you also get free shipping. And it ships out within 3 days and I got it after about 10 days, so very fast shipping. Um, the seller also sells some other stuff like sports and outdoor stuff, health and beauty things, but also cell phones. And they have some really cool stuff like the newest octa-core phones. We also have some Galaxy S4 clones like I have reviewed. And there are also some other things like the Apple iPhone 5 clones. So if you got some time, be sure to check out this shop. And as I said, if you really want to buy this watch, then say that you came from my video and then you will get a little discount on the watch. Okay guys, so basically that was the review. I hope you enjoyed it and as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.